Welcome back to another video guys, my name is Odd Legend, and today I am going to be doing a tier list of Annie's moves as shown in the trailer. I'm sorry for the bad quality, but I, you know, I just had to grab these screenshots of her move uh, art off of the Skullgirls trailer, so they're really not the most high quality. They're just little screenshots of a video. So yeah, I'm going to get into it now, ranking her moves. The tier list I've made is set out here if you just want to look at it and, you know, go. This is what I think her moves are, and I'm not going to make you wait. But if you want to stick around and listen to my thoughts a bit, uh, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome here. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you're down for more Skullgirls or any content, because I'll have more coming in the future. And maybe some other content? I don't know. We'll see. I kind of want to do some content on some Switch games, because I've bought like some really cool-looking Switch games lately. And I'd love to record them for you, so if you're down for that... Um, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'll make a formal video kind of asking what you guys want from the channel soon, I think. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if y'all are here purely for Skullgirls, if you're here just to watch me play games or what. So we'll figure that out. Anyway, moving on to the tier list. In C tier, I put those two grayed out moves. To me, these look like her taunts. I don't think they were ever used in the um, in the trailer. They were just basically taunt moves, as far as I can tell. That's what they look like. Maybe the one with her sword raised is like a burst move, but I don't really think so. Um, honestly, they just are, they're just what they are. Taunts are never really all that good. The only way they're good is if, you know, in the case of Fukua, they give you a really broken buff, like Miasma. However, I'm not expecting them to give her a broken buff. Maybe they'll give her enrage or something. So, you know, we'll see how it is. If those are taunts, I'm putting them in C tier. Not quite D, because I don't know if they have, like, really good effects or not, but that's where they're going to stay for now. You know, barring they have a really good effect. If they have a bad one, they're probably down to D, because taunts are pretty bad. <clears throat> and moving up to B tier. Uh, the first move in the B tier is kind of a triple kick move, basically. Uh, it's basically combos off of several of her grounded moves into, like, a kind of a triple kick, I guess. In like an aerial triple kick it would be the best way I could like describe it. Um, I don't really think this movie is going to be super good. It looks good in tandem with those kind of shadowy moves she has that launches the opponent up. However, I don't really know if this is going to have any utility on the ground. So if it's simply just an aerial usage move, it's not going to be all that great. So I'm going to leave it in B tier because I have yet to see if it actually works uh, on people that are not airborne. Um, and then next up is that punching move. This move is pretty solid, honestly. If it's better than I think it is, it'll definitely go up to A tier, in my opinion. It kind of hits them, like, against the wall, and they bounce off, and you can continue comboing them. The only thing, uh, I, I see wrong with this move, basically, is if you use this out of a grounded string, you know, it'll just bounce them off the wall, and then you don't have, you know, now they're tumbling in the air, and you can't really finish with that much, um... Whereas if you used a different special move, maybe you could get more off of it. So maybe this one is not bad, but just maybe not the most optimal special move she owns. However, we'll see. This one definitely has promise, and I'll have to see more of it. Uh, especially if it could, like, punch a falling opponent and bounce them off the wall. That could extend a combo, and that's really good. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, next up is this Energy Beam-ish blockbuster. It looks similar to Robo Fortune's, like, Alpha Cannon or whatever that's called. Gamma Cannon, I don't know. Whatever that, like, energy cannon is that she does. <laughs> um, this one looks... Eh, honestly, it seems like her weakest blockbuster to me. It's just kind of an energy beam. Seems like it's going to hit a lot of times, so maybe it'll fall into that trap of, you know, proccing multi-hit abilities like Resident Evil's armor. And, you know, I assume its, it's damage is not going to be anything special since it's just a tier 1 blockbuster. I prefer her other tier 1 blockbuster by far, in my opinion. Um, because this one won't really, f you know, combo, um, into anything. Typically these energy beam cannon type moves have a lot of, uh, cooldown, so they're not really going to combo into anything, and it just seems kind of meh. Although it's probably not bad, it's probably just decent. Uh, but it's going to go in high B tier, because I for sure prefer her other tier 1 blockbuster over this. Uh, moving on up to A tier, we have this kind of shadowy punch move. I think this could be, um, anywhere between... Oops, <laughs> anywhere between B and and S tier, depending on how it functions. Basically, if it is good, um, if it if it has a lot of utility, if it can catch them out of a lot of stuff, it could even be closer to S tier, high A tier. However, I just don't think um, 
I just don't think it's really, it's not all that. It, it looks good, but maybe not like, maybe not high A tier material. Basically, it just kind of launches them up into the air, and it does combo well with that kind of triple kick move, and we're just going to see. Honestly, I'm just going to see how this one goes. It seems like it has some good utility, but if it, you know, it, it can rise or fall. I'm sorry, I was bad at explaining that one, but... It's just a punch move, it launches them, and we'll see if it actually has more usage than I think it does, or if it's just a pretty solid move. Uh, next on is her second tier 1 blockbuster. I like this one a lot, actually. I was a bit mixed about this, because, again, it's just a blockbuster that's solely used for finishing combos. Nothing will combo out of this, as far as I know. However, it just seems to have a lot of utility. It's like a sword slice uh, lunge across the screen. And it, it's really good because it moves quickly and it can catch falling opponents that aren't going to be able to be caught by anything else. This is basically like for when, you know, you launch them too far or when you need a stable good damage move to finish off a combo or when you launch them a bit too far and you can't chase them and, you know, hit them before they touch the ground. This will just swing you forward right into them with a sword. Uh, especially because it seems like this will combo off of her grab when a lot of else, a lot of her other moves will not combo off of her grab mid-screen. This seems like a good move. I think it's great just for constantly finishing combos with. It's going to be charged almost all the time because it's a tier 1 blockbuster. So yeah, this one is a good one in my opinion. Uh, then moving on to high A tier is this kind of sword slash... Um, that's basically all of her moves. <laughs> a sword. Anyway, uh, it's kind of like a sword slash energy... I don't know. If you've played Smash Bros, it's Cloud's Neutral B, but slow. That's basically what it is. <laughs> it sends out this little energy half circle. Um, and it moves slow. However, I think this move is fantastic. From what I saw in the trailer, it's going to be able to catch uh, opponents out of a lot of things. And, you know, it doesn't just knock them onto the ground. It kind of pops them up a tiny bit and it just allows you to keep comboing them. I think it's just a great utility combo extender and it's going to be fantastic. So I definitely like this move. It seems like it's going to combo out of a lot of stuff and combo, more importantly, into a lot of stuff and just allow for creativity being like a little segue between between combo moves to, you know, extend and maximize damage. So this is a definite, uh, definite yes for me. Uh, low, uh, low S tier is going to be this first tier 2 blockbuster, kind of a shadow uppercut type thing gonna slam your sword down and pop them up using a shadowy whatever the heck that is i don't know cloud of mist something like that anyway this move is quite good in my opinion fantastic actually it seems like it's going to set up for a lot because it's going to send your opponent very high up and then they'll fall down and you can finish with it with whatever you want you can prepare you know follow them or prepare with whatever you want on the ground so this is just great. It's going to do big damage because it's a tier 2 blockbuster. It'll shoot them way up, and you can finish with whatever you want. Uh, so it'll be really good, and also it'll be able to probably catch falling opponents and pop them back up to extend combos. In my opinion, super, super good move. It's going to probably dish out a heck of a lot of damage. So I am definitely probably going to be rocking with this one on my Annie. Uh, yeah, We'll see how it goes, but I know I've already seen it combo with that all the other shadow... Um, other shadow special move and the triple air kick in the same combo i believe uh we just saw that in the trailer so you know this one is totally good in my opinion and then her um ultimate move here her highest move in my opinion is going to be that it's a terrible picture but it's going to be that kind of projectile uh, what is it even like a frisbee <laughs> i don't know projectile i think it's like an energy thing maybe it's just throwing her sword i forget but anyway when I saw this in the trailer, it seemed fantastic to me, uh, basically because it will, <clears throat> basically it, it caught the opponent midair when it was showed off, and it held them in midair long enough, like, and she could act while it was hitting them, basically, she wasn't locked into it, um, it wasn't like a unblockable where it's like an animation, she just throws it out, and then she was able to charge up a charge attack while that thing kind of held the opponent in the air hitting them. And then she hit them out of it as it as that move ended, you know, as the projectile faded away and they started to drop toward the ground, she finished them with a charge attack. So it just looks fantastic because it holds them in the air long enough for her to charge up a charge attack, which is probably the longest windup of any attack she'll ever do. So basically what that means is if you catch an airborne opponent with this move, it'll hit them multiple times and hold them there long enough for you to basically prepare to finish them with whatever you want out of it. 
It'll be, you know, it'll set up for powerful combo finishers. It'll set up for extensions. It can probably combo into whatever you want, honestly. So this move looks absolutely fantastic. I have yet to see how it will behave on a grounded opponent, but part of me wants to think that it will kind of behave like Squiggly's uh, Battle Opera does. Is it Battle Opera? Shoot, now I forget. Uh, you know, that, that energy ball that kind of floats in front of her. It it might um, might function like that, where if you hit a grounded opponent with them, it doesn't actually knock them off their feet. It just kind of hits them in place and stuns them there long enough to, for her to keep hitting them with a grounded string. If it functions like that, this move is so godlike, even more than I think, because it'll allow you to like do a light ground string into this, into a light ground string, into something else. We'll see how it works. Either way, I think this move is fantastic, and it'll allow for a lot of creativity with combos and some powerful finishers. Um, that's that. Oh, wait, no, I forgot the BB3. Shoot, I forgot to put the unblockable blockbuster on here. If I had to rank the unblockable blockbuster, I would put it in, in S tier as well, mainly because unblockable blockbusters are usually pretty strong. They do a lot of damage, um, but a lot of them, like Valentine's, um, like Bella's, they don't really allow for finishers. Like, you just use the unblockable, and then you can't combo anything out of them. Uh, Big Band has, like, a really good one. He's he's able to combo a lot out of it. But, like, most of them don't really allow you to combo much. Or if you do get to combo out of an unblockable, uh, it's just, like, one move out of it. However, um, Annie's, it seems to put them in a staggered state, meaning you can just start hitting them with a ground combo right after the unblockable. So not only will it do the big big um, big damage from the unblockable, it'll actually set them up to be to be comboed right out of it. Uh, which means it can maximize damage so much. You can tack on a full combo if you play your cards right onto the unblockable, which means it'll just it'll mean a lot of damage. So that one's definitely going to be in my uh, in my top S tier moves. Huh. I think that's that. Thank you for watching. I don't know if any of you stuck around. Um, I had a bit of trouble recording this one, so hopefully it worked this time. Anyway, that's going to be my thoughts. More any content coming soon. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I won't keep you guys here any longer. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Peace.